What is good, everybody? Welcome back to the Vault Pro Scooters. Today, we're here in the lovely storefront and we're gonna be filming another custom build for you guys. So, without further ado, let's head in the back, pick out our parts. All right, so we're in the warehouse. I got, I got a cool idea. We're gonna be going with a black and white color scheme. I know last week's custom build, Sam Weens was here and he did a little bit of white along with his custom. He used uh, Nolan's new wheels and these bad boys, as you guys can tell, or white and black, so he killed it. But today, I'm gonna be going with white and black as well, but I'm gonna be throwing a little bit of red in there, but we're gonna be doing a park build. So if you guys are watching right now and you guys are a fan of the park builds, hit that like button, because I'm doing this for you. Let's start off with the deck. Let's go this way, where the deck's at. Decks are right here. I wanna do a park build, like I said, so I gotta use a park deck. And I think the one that I decided on was this guy right here, Fusion. Signature series, Tyler Chaffin, the worst Apex player I've ever played with in my life, but he is an insane scooter rider, and we're gonna be using his deck today. I will very quickly show you guys what it looks like. I don't wanna reveal too much. Whoa. You guys may have seen this before, maybe you haven't, but look at that. Black, white, spaceship, not spaceship, sorry. Space shuttle, I knew that. Super, super sick deck, matte black. It's gonna do the job perfectly. So that is the deck. What is next, you may ask? I guess we can do a fork. Let's go grab a fork. <laughs> okay, so not a lot of white parts in scootering, unfortunately. I wish more people didn't make white parts. Any brands listening? But for today's video, I'm gonna be going with this guy. Native Versa Fork, and I'm gonna be doing the white and red colorway. You can see the fork is primarily white. There's just a little bit of red right here. Just a little touch. It's gonna do its job. You know, it's a fork. It's compatible with like every wheel size. You don't need anything more and I'm hyped. We may as well grab our clamp to match. What fork and clamp combo is he gonna be going with? If you guys guessed that I was gonna use a native clamp, you're smart. And we're gonna be doing the native Orca HIC, and of course, we're going with the white and red as well. So matching fork, matching clamp, very excited. All right, got our deck, we got our fork, and we got our clamp. That's like almost a full scooter. Wait, we need bars. Gosh, there's so many bars to choose from. Okay, this is what we're doing today. Ethic, tenacity, oversized. These guys are incredibly light, so they're gonna be very fitting for the park build. I know these steel T-bars are very similar in weight to titanium bars. Think about that. And the bar comes with a pre-installed slit for HIC. So I don't even have to drill or cut a slit. We're good, I'm hyped. Less work for me. Okay, we got our deck, our fork, our clamp, and our bar. We can grab our grips since we're right here. May as well grab our wheels as well. I might be upsetting a few of you guys with my choice of wheels because we're doing big wheels today. I know a lot of you guys like to ride normal size wheels, including myself. This is the size wheel I ride. But since this is a park build, I think that 30 wide wheels do benefit park riders. And since our fork and our deck are both compatible with 30 wide wheels, it'd be kind of stupid to not do it. So for that reason, we are going to be using a pair of these guys. These right here are Envy Scooters tri-bearing wheels. So these are 120 by 30 wide, so they're the thick wheels. And if you guys don't know, these wheels actually have tread here in the wheel. So there's like these little cuts in the urethane. And what that does is make your wheels sound super sick when you're going really fast. Black on black, we got two of them. Those are the wheels we're gonna be going with. Oh man, grips. Look at all the grips. All right, I need white. There's not a lot of white grips, unfortunately, at least in stock right now, so. We're doing, oh, I can't reach. Where's the claw? I got it, I got it, come on. <laughs> grips of choice. Like I said, I needed white. And the only white grips that we have right now, if I can get them out of the bag, pardon this interruption. Oh, we're going. Aztec light grips, white, simple and sleek design. However, they're white. They match our color scheme. It's another scooter brand. No reason not to use them. Okay, we're making progress here. What am I missing? I need grip tape for sure. I need a headset for sure. Let's get. Uh, let's go grab our grip tape. So, since the fork has a little bit of red in it, the grip tape needs to have a little bit of red in it. And for that, we're gonna be going with this right here. Look at this. White with a little bit of red. And this is like Formula G grip tape. For those of you guys that are familiar, essentially it's just a heavier grip. So you could definitely see the grip tape is a little bit grippier than your traditional skate grip tape. That's because when you're throwing double overhead tricks on this park setup, you're gonna need that extra grip. Sheesh, may as well grab a headset while we're here, right? Can you guess what headset we're gonna go with, Sam? Vault Velocity for sure. <laughs> You gotta support. Vault Velocity 2 headset in black. 20 bucks, most affordable headset on the market. Just saying. So, we got our grip tape, we got our headset. Let's go throw these back with the rest of the parts. I think 
we're pretty much done after that. I don't know what else we need. Last but not least, one more part. You guys might know we need it. Some of you might not. If you're gonna run HIC compression, you're gonna need an HIC kit. And I'm gonna be going with this guy right here. Nothing too crazy. Envy HIC kit. The reason why I personally really like using this HIC kit along with the Root HIC kit. One, the shim itself is not tall. It's a very reasonable size shim. I know a lot of you guys watching this right now are probably like, why is this dude? ranting to me about shim height. However, here in the scooter world, the height of your shim can cause a lot of issues. So this is a really good size and it has the removable cap because we do not need this compression cap and bolt. We need the one that comes with the fork. So this HIC kit right here is gonna be doing us all the justice we need. So that was tips for HIC kits with Austin. <laughs> what if we just do the whole custom in gloves? You won't. No, I won't. I won't do it, no. Yeah, grip, bar, clamp, headset, fork, wheels, grip tape, HIC kit. I wanted to do some bar ends. I saw that Sam did white bar ends on the last custom. I thought about it too, because I got the white grips, but maybe we'll just throw on some vault bar ends. You know, just a little bit of, you know, taste, a little bit of seasoning on the scooter. What do we got here? Where are they at? Where are they at there? No. I found them. All right, vault aluminum bar ends. I know you guys have heard this spiel a million times. Get yourself some aluminum bar ends. These guys are like 10 bucks. Protect the end of your bar, and you could also rip the vault. Get yourself a pair, link will be down below. I think we have a full scooter here. So I'm gonna go grab a cart, get all the parts back up front, and I'll meet you there, and we can start building it. All right, we're here. In the front of the store, we have all of the parts laid out. Let's quickly run through them one more time, just in case you guys forgot. So, starting from the top, Aztec light grips in white. Moving down to the bar, this is the Ethic Tenacity T-Bar, 26 and a half inches tall, matte black, oversized, beautiful. Moving on down, this is the Native Orca Double Clamp in white and red. To match, we also have the Native Versa Fork in white and red. This custom build is gonna be spinning on a Vault Velocity 2 headset, the best headset, by the way. Speaking of the base of this scooter, we went with the Tyler Chaffin Signature Fusion Entropy Deck. As for wheels, we decided to use the Envy Tri-Bearing Wheels in black and black. And finally, to finish her up, we have a sheet of Tilt Voltage Grip Tape. All right, so now we have all the parts laid out. Let's quickly run over here to this tool chest and figure out what tools we're gonna need to build this scooter. All right, tool number one, every scooter rider is gonna need. Gonna need a couple of these guys, a couple Allen wrenches. I'm gonna grab two of them just because I know I'll need them. And one of the folding Allen wrenches is also nice to have, so I'm gonna grab it. I will also grab socket wrench. I will need a brand new razor blade for the grip tape, preferably brand new just because it'll cut nicely. Now that we have all the tools here, we can finally get to build in this scooter. <laughs> all right, we got our deck and we got our lovely voltage grip tape. It's getting serious, guys. Jacket's coming off. That's how you know that this is about to get heated, okay? First things first, gotta take the brake off this deck so we can grip it. Yup. All right. And then the brake should just slide out. I tell you guys this every custom build, I'm gonna do it again. Take your bolts, put them back in where they go until you need them again. Do not wanna lose all of your brake hardware. I'm telling you, it is the worst. There's that, now let's go ahead and get our axle off. Luckily, it's not too tight, out of the box. And I'm just gonna try to grab all the spacers so they don't fall out everywhere. If you guys buy one of these fusion decks and you're kind of curious what these extra spacers are for, big ones are for if you're riding a normal size scooter wheel. If you wanna ride the bigger wheels, like we are in today's video, I'm gonna be using the small ones. So with that, we have a naked scooter deck here and we're gonna grip it. As long as it's relatively straight, I'm pretty confident that it'll look good. Got my brand new razor blade here and I'm just going to nicely cut down the head tube. And then lay that flat, and I'll do the same thing on this side. While I'm here, may as well cut the hole for the dropout. Just push in, slide back, and then now you should be able to finish this up. So normally when gripping a deck, you should be using a file to you know, shave down the sides of the grip tape and stuff like that. We sell grip tape files. Why I don't have one, I don't know. But today I will be just using this long Allen wrench. This is one that we have kind of dedicated to just filing down grip tape. You can see the end of it is pretty much just rounded and shaven down. But what you guys should not be doing is using your normal Allen wrenches that you use to tighten up your scooter to actually file down your grip tape. Because if you use these to file it down, you wear in this Allen wrench, 
you mess up the end of it, and then you try to tighten up your clamp, and then you strip your clamp bolts because you used it to grip your deck. Pretty good. You like that? Okay, just gotta clean up around the brake. Okay, my favorite part, the head tube. Okay, let's see. That actually turned out <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> All right, so grip tape is done, and honestly, looks pretty good. I think the positioning of the Tote logo looks beautifully. It's beautifully placed. So with the grip tape done, let's go ahead, throw our brake back on, and then we can start assembling the front end of the scooter. Take our brake and just slip her back in there. And then get our trusty Allen wrench and just tighten it up. Okay, brake is installed. Now we have a way to stop this scooter. Let's uh, start installing our fork and our headset. So for this step, I'm gonna need my grease, my fork, and my headset. First bearing, take a little bit of grease and just lightly coat top of the bearing. Nothing crazy, you don't even need to do all of it, just most of it. Then, slide that down your fork. Then, take your deck and go ahead, put it all together. Now we're gonna take our second bearing, rinse and repeat. Just grease it up a little bit, nothing crazy. And drop that in as well. Then we got our compression ring right here. And our lovely dust cover. So here's my HAC kit. This is obviously the NV one that I was showing you guys earlier. So I'm gonna be taking the bolt and cap out and only be using this. So let's drop this guy on there. We're gonna take this guy, drop it in there. And same thing, we're just gonna be putting a little bit of grease on here just to make sure that everything works. And Okay, front end is looking really good. I guess we can start putting our wheels on this guy. All right, let's do the back wheel first. We're gonna be putting the axle through this side. And then remember, we're gonna be using the small spacers because we are riding big wheels. Drop it there, get your wheel. Now we're gonna grab the second spacer, slide it in right here as well. And take the nut. And where'd my socket go? Weeks. Let's go ahead and do the front wheel as well. And same thing, put the axle in, drop the spacer, got our wheel here. Looks good, now I'm just gonna take the last bit and we should be good just to tighten it up. Ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, the bottom half of the scooter is finally complete. This thing looks sick. I think when the bars are on it and the grips are on it, it's gonna tie together beautifully. Now, let's put our grips on the bar. Woo! 
Grips are installed, guys. We did it, look at that. Told I didn't take like a lot of effort. <laughs> Grips are installed. All we gotta do is uh, throw our bar ends in. What I like to do is tighten up the little nut on the end of the bar end bolt now. It'll just speed up the process. I'm just gonna drop that in, grab my Allen wrench. I'm gonna straighten up the vault logos just because it'll drive my OCD crazy if they're not straight, but you guys do whatever you wanna do, okay? And I'm just gonna feel a little bit of friction. You do not wanna over tighten these bar ends. The bolt and the nut are very small, pun intended, and they will just break. Let's go ahead and do the other. Same thing, I'm just gonna spin this nut down a tad bit and drop her in. Cool, bar end number two is installed. We're looking good. All right, I got my native Orca clamp here. Hopefully the bars will just slip in. Let's find out. That was uh, pretty satisfying. So, bars are ready to go. All we have to do is throw them on the scooter and tighten it up. So let's do it. Sweet. All we have to do is tighten up our clamp. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're finally done. Alright guys, so we just wrapped up this black and white park custom build and to be honest, I couldn't be any happier with the overall turnout. Everything mixes beautifully, it's got 30 wide wheels, it's a park setup, it's incredibly light and it's something that I could see somebody riding at the skate park today. So we know the scooter looks good and I know you guys are dying to find out if it sounds good. So let's go do a drop test. And. To be expected, this thing is an absolute basketball. What can I say? I just build dialed scooters. Either way, I do wanna give a quick shout out to just all the brands that I used on this scooter using some of the top brands in the industry made putting this scooter together an absolute breeze. Everything worked out together beautifully. I didn't have any issues along the way and that is what it should be like when you build a scooter. All right, well, that is a wrap for this video. If you guys enjoyed this custom build, let us know by hitting that like button down below. If you guys have not subscribed already, make sure to do that as well. We have a ton of cool videos coming out. 2023 is gonna be a crazy year here on The Vault. So if you guys like us, let us know. Drop a comment if you guys have any other recommendations for custom builds or videos you wanna see. My name is Austin. All my links are down below. And until the next video, have a good one.